traders we are looking at gold okay thing about this is it's trading into this uh, well this level with a vengeance and I'm expecting possibly some reaction around here so let's just go down to the lower time frame and uh, we'll get a bit closer to it so know that you know we're uh, it's wrong one sorry we're trading into big resistance here just call it resistance and uh, we can mark up the body candle let's pull that through All right, so what's happened here this is pushed up into the cell stops that are sitting up in here and uh, chewing into it I mean you can see the reaction uh, as a result with this wick candle here All right, so it pushed into it and pulled back but it's, it's traded up aggressively again so I would expect a bit of volatility with this and uh, we know we could see some opportunities. So let's just go down to the lower time frame and see what it looks like. So I guess my rule of thumb uh, with <clears throat> a trend is it's pretty simple and uh, I follow the same thing day in, day out most of the time unless I'm looking for a counter trend trade but yeah that's a rare occasion so you know I'm usually looking for the four hour Fibonacci pullback now it's trending we can see that clearly and uh, you know if we took these trades based on this strategy we uh, would have done okay right so we go swing low swing high that's the high at the moment and I'm, I'm looking for the retrace and it, uh, if we have a look at this it coincides like the retrace that I, I want coincides with these highs here right so I would mark up well this this candle here for example take that as a potential target in terms of the pullback okay so if we grab our fib and you pull the fib on any of these we're looking at this red and blue zone in here is an optimal entry point or an optimal entry zone so it's the same story here like uh, we pull it swing low swing high depending uh, <coughs> where the the swing high will complete because this is going to pull back at some stage at the moment that's the swing high but just understand that you know this could could push a little higher and then we get a retrace All right so wherever this pushes I'll be moving my Fibonacci accordingly and then I'm looking for an entry or a p possible entry point you know down in around you've got this red candle here so we'll just mark it up as a support zone down in around <coughs> excuse me this this level the 50% of the Fibonacci 50 to 618 this is zone here all right that would be an entry point for me so if I mean look there's two ways we could jump in we could speculate with a, a limit buy something like that always higher risk involved or you can sit and watch it in front of the you know um, into the uh, London Open or the the New York Open and see if we get the pullback and then just wait for the rotation when this starts to you know uh, rotate on the lower time frame if you're in front of the charts otherwise speculate with a limit buy but you know you'll, you'll see the opportunity for example here on let's just go down to a 15 minute and uh, the kind of price action I'm looking for is on the lower time frame let's have a look at our smiley and you know if you get good at catching these right so we've got this swing swing low to swing high here well you know what yeah it kind of eluded our 50 percent retrace okay so I didn't quite pull into it but yeah I mean give or take some of these will or won't but you know I do prefer it into this level but you know you just want to watch the 15 minute time frame as it's trending up like so 
and then uh, this is for the you know for the benefit of those of you who are fairly new to trading so you've got this trend here on the 15 higher highs high lows lower high lower low and then of course it, it shifts right we get a break of market structure and it starts trending up you know, so then we look for this kind of movement here on the 15M. Yeah, this one was a little bit tricky because we didn't really get a break of this high back in here. It wasn't an easy uh, an easy call, this one. Um, you know, but we got, we got this pullback. Okay, so higher highs, higher lows. And the break of this high, well, it did occur, but yeah, it didn't. What I'm talking about, I mean, it didn't give us a, a, a break of the high and then the retrace. Right, so I would have preferred to see this high, yeah, respected here. In any case, that's the idea, pretty much. Now it rotated here. You can see how it broke structure, right? It broke structure higher high, higher low, yeah, lower high. It's not so easy sometimes when you see um, a lower high kick in, but you're going to be looking for, again, you know, the same thing here. Like, it's trending up 15 minutes, it starts trending down, and then, you know, the opportunity is this break, here, uh, break of structure here. That was an easier entry point on this time frame right there. All right, that would have been a nice entry, bullish. So anyway, that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. I want to see this do the same thing. I want to see it trend down and give us the setup. Okay. Something like that. That's going to happen somewhere. And that's what I'm going to be looking out for if I'm in front of the chart. Otherwise, it's a limit buy. And I'll take the risk. Okay, guys. I mean... That's pretty much it. This is the, uh, yeah, it's my take on, on gold at the moment. So with that, I hope you have a great day. Safe trading, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.